show. You know, it's easy for dried up old crones like me to dismiss Bernie fans as naive kids who believe in wizards and unicorns. Sometimes too easy, but I wanted to hear from actual Sanders supporters themselves. We met at legendary folk music venue Cafe Wa. Our impossibly diverse panel included a new citizen, a Native American, and of course, a stereotypical Bernie bro with his backward baseball cap just oozing with tood. Uniting them, belief in a candidate who promises not only political revolution, but to broker peace with the beasts among us. We know that Bernie Sanders is gonna win the nomination and win the election and become our next president. Yeah. All right. That's all there is to it. The media has not been really fair to Bernie. They ignored him for months. I'm not here to bash Bernie. I'm just here to understand your optimism, and stick my fingers in it, and just roll it around in my hands, and restore myself to the person I used to be. If you're feeling bad, we can all give you a hug. How do they stay so positive in the face of their one big obstacle? I'm just gonna do a little word association. There's only one word. Hillary. Dishonest. Inauthentic. Uninspiring. Inside the box. That's three words. Wall Street. Okay, that's two words. You get to pick wall or street. She's saying elect me because I know how to grease the wheels. Do you think she's too much in the pocket of big, realistic expectations? Oh, yeah. Deep down in the pocket. There's a lot of dishonesty coming from a lot of what she does. Holy so shit. I just noticed that you have a Bernie Sanders tattoo on your body. <laughs> <laughs> they can laugh all they want, but my Dennis Kucinich tummy tattoo did not age well. Neither did his slogan. What is the biggest shared trait of Bernie supporters? Is it passion? Is it a sense of justice? Is it a secret desire to live under a Ted Cruz presidency? No, not at all. What are the stereotypes? That we're naive and we want free stuff. And that everyone is young. I have a problem with people assuming that we're all sort of monolithic. What if I told you that since you arrived in this room, Bernie has announced his running mate, Elizabeth Warren? Yay! Yay! First of all, what I said was not true. Second of all, I totally predicted your reaction. As long as you didn't say communist orgasm, that's fine with me. Tell me three things you want Bernie to achieve his first day in office. Raise the minimum wage, uh, implement universal health care, and uh, end Citizens United. We all want the same thing, a change for the country. Did you all vote for Obama? Absolutely. And did you expect great things? I thought it was an okay. epochal moment of transformation. Why did you think that? Because he was an inspirational figure. He made these great speeches. He talked about hope and change. And then what happened? When he was being inaugurated, they were deciding they were going to obstruct absolutely everything. They wanted him to be an unsuccessful president. He faced but tremendous he opposition he... and a lot of prejudice. OK, so all of these conservative representatives in their safe gerrymandered districts are all of a sudden going to wake up and go, hey, you know what? I like what this socialist Jews got going on. It takes a movement to get this stuff done. But Obama had a movement. The difference is that the people will rise and will stay awake after Bernie is elected. If he has problems with the Congress, I think he would call on support, call on, let's have a big protest. So are you literally saying to me right now that the difference between Obama and Bernie Sanders is that the people of America are going to continue to be motivated yes. within the political process and they're going to keep putting pressure on our elected leaders to make change? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have you met people? Yes, yes. of course. Okay. Okay. Well, and that's the thing. What is wrong with them? No, maybe something's wrong with me. Home runs only happen when someone swings for the fences. Am I incapable of seeing what they see? No, wait a second. I do see something. <gasps> My sense of hope, you're back. But wait a second. What about the poles? Don't do that. Okay. How's he gonna break up the big banks? Ow. I can't have my heart broken again. One thing I do know, I respect these people's unshakable willingness to dream big. Do you ask for a loaf of bread and get a half, or do you ask for a slice and get crumbs? What's <laughs> the likelihood that you're going to have a little Bernie-shaped 
scar from where you've got that Zero. scrubbed off. Zero? I will never unfeel the burn. You can't unfeel the burn once you feel the burn. And if things don't work out? Uh, no, I'd just say it's Danny DeVito. <laughs> We'll be right back.